Hello everybody, welcome to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Uh, this is Scott with the Scott Spot, and I hope you're ready to witness one of the greatest games of all time. It's my personal favorite The Legend of Zelda game, and it's also my second favorite game, period, right after Final Fantasy X for uh, the PS2, which incidentally is also getting an HD remaster soon. So yeah, here's the intro. Uh, this game's for the Wii U, just came out less than a less than two weeks ago. I would have had some videos up sooner, but uh, my capture card was having problems, so yeah. Um, as much as I would like to use the Wii U gamepad, it's awesome. Uh, it doesn't, sometimes it shows things only on the gamepad, such as the tingle bottles, and it emits all the menus. And I want you guys to see as much as possible, since I can't record what shows up on the gamepad. So we'll be using the Wii U Pro Controller. Start a new game. Um, and I'm a traditional guy, so we're just gonna go with plain old Link. Who is a name is Link because he's a link to you, the player. And another new addition to this game, which is one of the coolest ones, is that they added a hard mode called Hero Mode. Uh, you take double damage and won't be given recovery hearts at any point. This mode is only for the truest heroes. So basically, the only way to heal yourself is to either buy a potion or to uh, capture a fairy. You can also hit yourself with uh, pieces of heart, but those are limited. So without further ado, let's get started. I will be voice acting the cutscenes in this game. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. The kingdom being Hyrule and the golden power being the Triforce, it was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. You can see a horse and a, a Goron there. But one day a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. Ganon slash Ganondorf. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. This is referring to the events of uh, the Ocarina of Time. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand. A young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Good old Link, wielding the Triforce of Courage. Wielding the Blade of Evil's Bane, he sealed the Dark One away and gave the land light. Look at Ganon's face there. This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. What a title. Look at Epona there. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. The Legend of Zelda? Should be called the Legend of Link. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. Really? The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. He's back! Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Because Zelda sent him back to the past, he had no way to appear. Plus, he went to Termina in Majora's Mask, so he just wasn't around. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. That's their SOL. In their last hour, as Droom do nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. That age being nine, I believe. 
clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. What makes a blade heroic, anyway? The elders wish only for the use to know courage, like the hero of legend. So there's our intro. And we open on Outset Island. Link's home island. It's a pretty nice starting location. Pretty peaceful. And this is Link's younger sister, Aril. Big brother! Dang, you see those seagulls almost like swoop into her head? Like, one of them literally crashed into her there. Big brother! Like, she's gonna see him with that. What, is he gonna be up there? He is. How did he fall asleep up there? Big brother! Oh yeah. Can you see him now? That you have that telescope pointed right at him? Was he, like, supposed to be on watch or what? Or did he just camp out here? Look at that lazy ass. And where the hell did she go? I knew you'd be here. Creeper. It's like the gr girl from The Grudge. Hee hee hee. This is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Ariel's Lookout. Do you now? That's interesting. See, so do you remember what day it is today? I don't think Link knows what month it is right now. You're still half asleep, aren't you? Yeah. Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday. What the fuck? <laughs> that face. That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Oops. It's a good thing I came to find you. Yeah, Link would have slept all day. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Don't tell me what to do. Hurry up, big brother. Grandma's waiting for you back at the house. I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you, too. Let's go say hello to them as well. Oh, by the way, don't tell me what to do. I'm your older brother. Drop down. No, that won't hurt us for some reason. Cross back to the land. Watchtower, Forest of Fairies. Well, we can't get to the Forest of Fairies yet, but if we do go up the path that leads there, we can get our first rupee on this roof. That's a, a lot of people miss that. Uh, green rupees are worth one, and rupees are the currency of this game. Now this guy is named Mesa. Oi, Link! What's that? Today is your birthday. Well, congrats, buddy. Are you that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, doesn't it? You blink and poof, there goes a year. Why, well, I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day. Look at how tall it's gotten already. Say, do you want to try cutting it, Link? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun, it's like a treasure hunt. Except, you're gonna need some kind of grass cutting tool if you want to cut the grass. This is common sense, buddy. Well, I'm not gonna cut your grass for you, you douche. Anyway. Uh, now over here we have this little boy whose name is Joel. No, not Joel from The Last of Us. Oi, Link! Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, that you can jump to that rock out there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me. Well, Link can't talk, so I'll just show you. Yeah, blue rupees are worth five, and yellow rupees are worth ten. And in case you're not familiar with 3D Zeldas, I'm not having to press a jump button or anything. He just automatically jumps when you run up against it, a ledge. Wow! I hope you'll be able to jump like you someday, Link. Sorry, kid. Not likely. Can't all be as cool as me. Real quick, I'll also show off another new feature. When you go into first person mode, you can now move around uh, in first person. Which you cannot do before. Anyway, let's keep moving. Over here we have a couple more people. Uh, this is Zill, Jill's little brother. And isn't that long strand of snot just pleasant. Um, your grandma was calling for you, Link. And so was my mom. What does your mom want? I'll deal with her in a second. This is Sue Bell, who carries pots around on her head. Oh, Link, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister Arrow find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother's looking for you. Yeah, she heard. 
Don't make me. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day, and she said you wanted to learn to carry jars on her head like me so she could help your grandma with chores. So if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press... Yeah, yeah. Can you tell her that for me? Yeah, because we all have floating controllers that we can use to just fix everything. Um, another little easter egg that not everybody knows about is you can actually destroy the pot on Sue Bell's head by throwing a rock or another pot at it. Of course, she's not going to like it. That's just terrible. My precious jars. How could you? Yeah, and she even charges you 10 rupees for it. Yeah, I feel kind of bad doing that, but since it's not a something that everybody knows about, I think I figured I'd show it off. Now this is Rose. She is the mother of Joel and Zill, the two little boys we met. Today is your birthday, isn't it, Link? Well, how nice for you. I suppose I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell the truth, I could congratulate myself, too, bitch. It's my birthday. We just finished building our little hutch and paddock today. This is a delightful addition to the place. I was actually thinking of getting a pet and keeping it here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. What do kids like these days? Listen, dearie, if you see any good pets around, be a lamb and just bring one here. If you do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but we won't tell your grandma about it, will we? I don't really get why my grandma would care, but alas. Anyway, let's get a get her a pig. I know that seems like a weird pet, but not like we have anything else to give her. Now this is Abe. He is uh, the husband of Rose. But I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see, look, that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Link? Now you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to, yeah, yeah, you have to crawl. Slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. Well, we don't have bait, so we're going to be crawling. So you just carefully crawl up to it. It doesn't matter, uh, as long as you don't crawl super fast up to it, it doesn't matter if it sees you or not. See it. That motion of stooping down alerted it. Got it. As long as you don't make any sudden movements, it'll be fine. So let's take this back to Rose. Put it in the pig pen. Hopefully we'll get something out of it. Oh, I missed. Good job, Scott. Ugh, can't believe I didn't get it on the pen. There we go, get in there. Why did you bring that little piglet all the way here just for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You sweetie. Okay, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. It's 20 rupees. I mean, I don't really... It'd be hard to spend much more than that. What a pleasant surprise. Why, this little darling is cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind having even more of them. Why would you want more pigs? One is enough, jeez. But anyway, this one thing I haven't said yet is that this is a 100% run, so I will be doing everything in the game, including all the heart pieces, all the uh, treasure charts, all the treasures, all the blue chew jellies, everything. So look forward to that. Ah, uh, get this pig. Ah, uh, it's really finicky. It has to basically walk into you. Got it. There's our second pig. Put it up in the pen. Why did you bring me another piglet? Oh, were you all worried that this little guy would get lonely hanging out inside the fence all by himself? That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us yet another family member. Here's a little something for you. Another red rupee. If you find any other little piggies, you know where to bring them. Alright, let's go get the last pig. Unfortunately, this one is the furthest away. It's over on the other island. One thing I should mention really quickly is that, you see that bottom right spherical meter? It drains while you're in the water, and once it's completely out, you drown. So you want to avoid that. Uh, pig is over here. Uh, to the side of Mesa's house. So let's get him. 
slowly. Come here, piggy. Oh, yeah. Suey! Here, pick, 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 pick. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, what I was gonna say about the water issue is that even though this game has by far the most water in it than any other Zelda game, uh, at the same time, it's uh, you can't dive underwater, which you can in all the other 3D Zeldas. So I found that kind of weird when I first played this. It's definitely something that I wish you could do, but it doesn't break the game, and the game's still awesome without it, so it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you think about it. Uh, yeah, so let's take this last pig over here. Give me money. Oh, oh, look at this one! You sure do know where to find the cutest pigs on the whole great sea. Hey, oinker! Oink, oink! She speaks her language. Oh, now things will be ever so much more lively in the pen. It'll be like a big pig jamboree in here. Thank you so much. Oh, that's right. I can't let you leave without giving you a present. Happy birthday, Link. Thanks for the present. So 60 rupees, that's not bad for this point of the game. I guess I'd better think up some names for these little oinky winkies, huh? So yeah, that's all the time we have for this episode. Typically I'm going to try to cut it off at 15 minutes, but uh, I didn't want to stop in the middle of that little pig quest. Uh, tune in next time, we'll go visit Grandma's house. Uh, I really appreciate your views, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, uh, or you could hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this one. Uh, so yeah, I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys later. This is the Scott Spot signing off. Thanks.